I've owned so many articulated figures in my life. But this may possibly be the most articulated, articulate figure I own right now. If that makes any sense. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Ever to be here with yet another tour review. And today, we are going to be taking a look at Venom from the 2018 film Venom. So, not only is this is probably my very first Hasbro figure, this is also my very first Venom and Marvel figure in general. Not gonna lie, I'm honestly very, very surprised of the amount of articulation, detail, and just overall presentation with this figure alone. Now, before we get into this guy, let's take a look at its packaging. On the top, you can see Venom, Marvel Legends series, Venom. This is that whole packaging right here. It's really neat packaging. You got the side of Venom, you can see his tongue, it's a bunch of saliva, lots of info right there. Let me get in the back side of this right here. Failed reporter Eddie Brock is hijacked by an alien entity that takes like to Earth and decides to protect it. Pretty much the gist. Overall, the packaging is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Okay. Now then, take a look at the detail here of this guy. You could see the amount of fucking epicness of this guy. I gotta admit, Hasbro was pretty shitty when it comes to Jurassic World toys, but holy shit, they nail it with their Marvel Legends figures, man. Holy shit. Just look at the amount of detail with this guy. Holy crap. The musculature, the freaking everything on this guy is top fucking notch. Paint ups on the figure as well are really, really well done. You can see that there's actually some pretty good, nice tongue detail right there. Obviously, the tongue is a molded in plastic, so it's not really painted, but the teeth are. As you can see, some of them are a bit scuffed, but at the same time, though, it's still pretty good. You can see the white veins going around on its body. It's really, really awesome. The entirety of the figure is basically a, a black plastic. Really good figure when you touch it. And then you can see the white eyes, which are really nice. And just overall, this guy is freaking awesome. Other well, than, of course, this thing also comes with accessories. So right here we have two fists, the additional head. And even this thing alone even has some detail, man. Just look at that, bro. That is a fucking sick head. So I'm gonna show you guys how to swap out the head. Basically, you just give it a little tug and like that. It's similar to the neck Kong, essentially. It's got like a ball joint going on right here. And then you just simply just shove this thing on there. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda, it's, it's kinda like hard to put it in there sometimes, but you know, as you can see, we got Venom's grin. Now, of course, his hand is also interchangeable, and of course, similar to how the neck Kong figure is, you just tug right here, all right, and then get that in focus, you can see, and then you just shove it right there. And of course, you get the fist in it. Now that we've got the details and our accessories out of the way, let's get into the articulation. Now, what I mean by saying that this is the most articulated, articulate figure, you're gonna see why. So as you can see right here, we can focus, the head can go all the way up like that. That's the most highest it could go, and it could go all the way down like that. It could turn around like that, and like so. You can move the head. Basically, this is a ball joint and you essentially have a full range of different uh, points of articulation with this. Arms can rotate right here, as well as rotate like this. The biceps can rotate as well. He has double jointed elbows. Double jointed elbows, man. Dude. He's got a hinge right there on his wrist, and it could rotate all around. You can move his freaking back like this, you can go all the way down, and you can rotate it all the way like this. Move his legs side to side, 
or in and out. The upper leg right here has an articulation we could rotate it all the way around or like a swivel almost. Double jointed knee has a foot rotation right here and a freaking ankle pivot. Ankle pivot! Now that we got articulation out of the way, let us get into some size comparisons. Here he is next to the NECA King Kong. Here he is with the NECA 1962. Here he is next to my SH Figure Arts Ultraman. And just because here he is next to some random assortment of uh, figures that you guys may or may not have. Overall, do I recommend this figure? Honestly, I oh my god. I cannot stress this enough. You need to get this, man. This is possibly the most... Like, the greatest figure you could ever have. Not only is it Venom, but the articulation, the sculpt, the paint apps, everything with this guy is freaking amazing. You have to get this just to appreciate the freaking figure as it is, man. It's so good. Like, genuinely, it really is. If you're able to find this guy for, like, any, for any good price, totally pick it up. It's honestly a really must-have. Other than that guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me guys' his thoughts on this figure. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah guys, sign off. Sometimes I wonder